Hey everyone, Pokemon news time. It looks like we have a couple of good stories for you rolling out today since yesterday's home update. Uh, just random things just appearing out of nowhere. June, of course, is going to be cram-packed full of mystery gifts, okay? Because we've got three now lined up. There's a new one to announce today. And, of course, we're going to just give you a little reminder and an update about next giveaway, which is starting on Sunday. Let's get to it. So first up, let's talk about the mystery gift. The new mystery gift announced is going to be announced for the PGCS 2022 event, which is going to be two weeks later during the weekend. We're going to be getting a code distributed to give us this new mystery gift, a Sableye, okay? It's just going to be it's another mystery gift added on top of all of the other ones that we have for June. So if you guys have been keeping track of my videos, which you damn well should be, we have a Regigigas for a Korean event coming out in June. We have a Grim Snarl from a previous uh, champion, okay, for I think it's the Trainers Cup. That's going to be rolling out, and it's a previous Korean champion, so it's another Korean mystery gift. That's going to be a Grim Snarl mystery gift in June, of course. And now we have this Sableye as well, which is going to be coming in two weeks. So guys. This uh, this whole mystery gift thing for June looks like it's cram-packed for Sword and Shield. You're going to be getting tons of mystery gifts. Uh, so I will let you know when they go live. I will do individual videos for when they go live. I'll show you guys the code so you can all get your hands on them. A lot of these, keep in mind, a lot of these are going to be for weekend only. So like maybe two days, maybe three days only to get your hands on them, as is often the case for some of these mystery gifts from past champions for certain tournaments and so on. So guys, highly highly recommend you drop that sub and hit that little bell so you don't miss the videos when I announce them because so many people do end up seeing the videos recommended to them after the deadline has passed and you do not get the mystery gifts in that sense okay so you got to keep on top of this stuff we do it straight when it goes live and you will be able to get them uh, within two or three days as they're live, okay? So do keep that in mind, another mystery gift for the bag, lovely. Next up guys, I did do last night a video on the new Pokemon Hub update 2.0.1 in which they sought to fix 10 or 10015, okay? So they've fixed this error in the newest update. It's now live all across the board for Apple Android and Switch. When I did the video, it was only live on Apple. It was rolling out, coming to Android and then Switch after. So now it's all available for everybody. So if you guys were watching that video yesterday and you're wondering what's happened, it's now available for everybody on the Nintendo Switch. But that's not all. It looks like they're adding compensation for people who have had this issue. And let's get into the compensation. Actually, very, very cool that they're actually doing this indeed. So the compensation appears to be 10 free days of premium on Pokemon Home. If you had the basic plan, you will get 10 days free of premium. If you had the premium, you'll get 10 days extra premium for free added on. So your expiration date will get pushed back. So that's pretty cool, I guess, to compensate for the error having been pretty consistently across the board for everybody. And of course, again, they're only mentioning error 10015. is the only error I did a video on after which the Pokemon Company did announcements for all this stuff. I didn't cover the other errors, so I don't know if I did, that would have made a difference, I'm not sure, but there's still errors for like 10010, which I am being hurt, I am hearing is be is fixed, okay? I think someone suggested that might have been just for the basic plan. Now I don't I know the Pokemon company doesn't mention it, however, it may you may have gotten 10010 if you had the basic plan, and the same problem would have been 10015 for the premium. Cannot confirm 100%, but that seems to be a pretty good guess at what was going on there. There are still 9007, there are still an another couple of errors that are still happening. 9007 may have been fixed, I'm hearing mixed reports on that one. As for another error, there's a long code in that one, I don't remember exactly what it is, but I have been hearing that that's still happening. So there still seems to be a couple of little issues here and there for some people, definitely a minority of users. However guys, if you were wondering what's going on with all of this, with the update, you're going to be getting your 10 day premium one way or another if you were experiencing these errors. So that's a nice little, little cherry on top, I guess. Another thing to note guys as well, with the update for some users, it appears that the Pokedex entries for Pokemon that were not existing in home as the update went live were erased. So if you had Pokemon in Pokemon Home and you brought them out, they would have been registered in the decks, but since the update, they may have been unregistered. So do keep that in mind. I don't think it makes a difference. I don't think it matters at all. But if you wanted to try and get a whole completed entry collection on Pokemon Home, you may have to move some in again. <laughs> That's just... 
You know, it's ILCA, folks. We've done the BDSP chapter. It's Pokemon Home Round 2. And of course, they did have lots of issues with Pokemon Home back when it was new. And we covered those things like cloning and all sorts of fun things with Pokemon Home. Absolutely fun indeed. But the problems just keep rolling out. ILCA is a headache for the Pokemon company, let's put it like that. And I couldn't be happier. It's kind of funny, it's kind of interesting, but you know, they come out with stuff like this and they try to fix it and then we get like things like a free premium or whatever, so ah, it's interesting. Let's just keep going. Huh? Finally guys, I wanna make a quick clarification update for this giveaway here, which I announced in this video, which is my sh giving away Shiny Arceus and Darkery with your OT in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I wanna correct myself. It turns out that Pokemon that are legally done for this, like the shinies for PLA would have have to of course come from BDSP through Pokemon Home into PLA. I thought we were able to do your OTs for that. It looks like we're not able to do your OTs, I'm afraid. So we're just going to do the Blaine's OT for these and I'm going to add Shiny Shaman in for the trio, okay? We're going to do the whole trio for those three. The Shiny Arceus, Shiny Darkrai and Shiny Shaman. Uh, we're going to have two bots apiece for all three of those. Uh, so, sorry, it's actually going to be four bots apiece because we got two member bots we're going to be doing Shiny Shaman, two more will be doing Shiny Darkrai, and two more will be doing Shiny Arceus. And again, we'll have the free bots, another six free bots for everybody doing 2-2-2 two, two, two as well. But sadly, it's not going to be able to be your OT legally, so we're not going to do your OT because we only want to do legal Pokemon on the channel, of course. Hopefully you guys understand, hopefully you guys forgive the mistake. Uh, I thought we were able to do your OT, I'm afraid we're not at the moment. So we'll see about future updates whenever that, that happens and we'll see if it's possible in the future. However, I think we'll go ahead with this giveaway doing the shiny. So we're going to add shiny shaman into the trio so you can get all three. We're going to be doing all three with the shiny shaman in PLA now. And you will be getting them in strange balls and they will have had their origin in BDSP like that. So you'll be able to just get your collection. You'll be able to get them in PLA for the fun of it as well. It'd be the first time us doing them in PLA. And it's a good redo for people who may have missed them on BDSP. PLA, of course, is by far an easier system, much faster as well. So if you guys did miss out on any of these shinies that we did in the past, you'll be able to get all three of them again in PLA this time around, starting on Sunday. We're going to be doing them for 24-7 for the entire week. So hopefully you guys get your hands on them this time if you didn't before. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's Pokemon news. Drop a sub if you want to keep on top of that. Like I said, for the mystery gifts, you really need to so you don't miss out on the videos when they go live. Super, super important, guys. I'll see you guys around in the next video. Have fun with your 10 days free premium. Don't get trapped, guys. Just be careful. Don't get trapped by moving all your Pokemon into them during the 10 days and then you don't have actually have intent to get the 10 day premium yourself afterwards or to get the premium plan afterwards yourself fully because then they're going to be locked in, right? They're going to be locked in Pokemon Home. Now, I do happen to have a video uh, to unlock Pokemon that have been locked behind the paywall for free. You don't have to do it. I did have a video. I'm not sure if it still works because it's a little dated. And just for anyone curious, that's this video right here. How to get locked Pokemon out of Pokemon Home without premium that's right here folks i'll actually leave this video for your gut for you guys if you want to have a look at it right on the screen somewhere here as we end up the video so you'll be able to try that out but guys that's going to be a wrap for today thanks very much for watching i'll see you guys around in the next video till then bye